I just came back from seeing Godzilla vs Kong. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Geeks and another video, and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Godzilla vs. Kong, directed by Adam Ringard. Going in, I was just expecting it to be a fun, fun time. And I did have a fun time watching this movie. It is better, in my opinion, it is better than Godzilla King of the Monsters, which I actually enjoyed that film. But I gotta admit, this is like a step in the right direction, like an improvement. But, it's still not a great movie. It's still not a perfect movie by any means. But did I enjoy this movie? Yes, I did. I had a blast watching this movie. So, coming in, you know, going forward to you guys, it's just, I did have a fun time watching this movie. Let's go to the pros before we go to the cons. So, the pros is the visual effects is stunning. The cinematography is wonderful to look at, it's beautiful to look at, especially on a big screen on IMAX, which I did see on IMAX. The score by Tom Hogenberg is great, very epic and energetic and just really sounds beautiful on big screen. And the monster fights between Godzilla vs Kong is phenomenally so much fun to watch. It's just, I couldn't help it myself just to bring a big smile on my face. These are two gigantic icons, Godzilla and King Kong, fighting each other on a big giant screen. The technology is right there. It's, it is time to do an updated version of Godzilla vs Kong from the, you know, the 60s that we got from the back in the day. That this is a much improvement from that. You know, the visual effects are going to look stunning. And it is beautiful to look at. It's a fun film. Now to the cons. The cons is the, the story. The story is weak. That I was expecting to go in. I knew that the story is not going to be anything too spectacular or anything Shakespearean in my eyes. Um, nothing like that. I was going in watching this movie just to have a fun time, having a brain off and just enjoy the movie. And just have a, a fun time, like a mindless distraction kind of film. Like I need something to entertain, I need something to enjoy. That's what the film I went going in watching Godzilla vs Kong. I did not expect the script to be amazing. Um, so, the weakness of that movie for Godzilla Kong is the story. The story is weak. Plus, the characters, yet again, are not very interesting and very weak. I kind of wish they, they took their time writing the script and, and just give the characters something so interesting to do. Yet, yeah, since Godzilla 2014, the character was never very interesting, minus the Brian, the Brian, what can I speak, the Brian Cranston character, which that's the only highlight of this film, but I kind of wish he didn't die off in the movie. And then Kong Skull Island was the only MonsterVerse film that has very interesting characters that I really enjoy, like Mason River, to Tom Hiddleston character, to John Goodman character, to Samuel L. Jackson characters. I really enjoyed the characters, they were very interesting. And then we go back to Godzilla King of the Monsters, the, the characters are not very interesting. And then, yet again, when we got to the vs. Kong, the characters are not very interesting. Minus one character, the little girl who is mute and deaf, who do sign language to Kong, to communicate with Kong. That's not a spoiler, that's, it was in the trailer. Um, I was here for that. That's the only character that I liked, that are, that the only character that's very interesting to me, that is the little girl. Um, because she's the heart and soul in the film, um, basically. And I like that character a lot. I really do. Um, not because I'm deaf, I'm being biased and that, but she's a very interesting character. And that's the only character I like. The rest of the characters and the surrounding by her, eh. And yet, I was not expecting to be perfect. I, 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 was, I just wanted to have a fun time. So the story is weak, the characters are not very interesting, and some of the ideas can be very cheesy, but I like the fact they embrace the cheesiness from the 60s, um, you know, paying homage from the 
the, the original Godzilla franchise from the Showa era on the 60s and in the 80s and 90s, what have you. Yes, there are some good ideas, some not so good ideas, but I kind of wish they could have they could have done that really well. They could have executed that really well. They couldn't. Um, but you know what? With the cons being said, the story being weak and the characters being weak, but I cannot help it the fact that I really enjoyed the movie. I really did. I mean, it was so nice to see a big budget film on a big screen. It's such a nice feeling going in and having an escape and watch this movie and just enjoy myself. No, it's not a great movie. By any means, it's not. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not great. But I did enjoy it. I had a great time. So, overall, is it a bad movie? No. Is it a great movie? No. Is it, I think it's a decent film. It's a good film. It's a good, meh, but you just cannot help it just to have fun with the movie. That kind of film. That kind of film when I'm going to buy it on blue it. I know I'm going to be watching this movie because I'm going to have a great time. Because I love seeing Godzilla vs. Kong fighting on a big screen. Like, I really do like that. And, yeah, that's my thoughts on this movie. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just decent. It's decent. Um, I really enjoy this movie. It's decent. And I'm not going to give the grade for this movie because, okay, here's what I'm going to say. As a film fan, probably a 6.5 out of 10 stars. As a regular movie goer audience, just to have fun, an 8.5 out of 10 stars, to be honest. Um, those are two, two differences. As a fan in me, as a movie fan in me, 6.5. As a wanting to go have fun watching this movie, an 8.5. So that's my two different grading on that. You know, I know it sounds confusing, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. This is my thoughts on Godzilla vs. Kong. Comment below what you think of this movie. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Have a great one and take care.